Hey guys, Judah fans, this is Carl Reddish, and we are doing a deck tech with Robbie Stewart and David Woodward. Robbie Stewart, you just won. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> KMC Tyler, Texas. This is the uh, second time you've won an invite from Tyler, Texas. Congratulations, man. And then David Woodward, you also made top eight. Uh, you ended up losing in the first round to Robbie Stewart. So you're going to get seventh or eighth place, depending on how the, the things go. Yep. But the two of you ran card for card a 44 card. What would you call this, guys? This is light. Darkness, light, dark nature, mid range. It does mid -range. whatever, whatever we want it to. Yeah. Roll core. I was about to say. Yeah. Roll, roll core. Roll, roll core is the backbone. Yeah. So we'll get to that in just a yeah. second. But uh, let's talk about the three rain cloud krakens. Mm -hmm. All right. So just a bit about the deck for a sec. Sure, sure. On Monday night, Robbie texts me and goes, "Hey, I've got an idea for the KMC." <laughs> Here's a core of like 30 cards. What do you think? What can we do with it? And I'm like, I've already got my deck, but okay, I can work with this. <laughs> so I start messing around with it online, end up going with the third color, put in water, didn't like it, switched to light. This is what we ended up with at the very end. And we're like, okay, well, it hasn't had a huge amount of testing, but we'll go with this. Yep. So Robbie hadn't played it at all prior to <laughs> yep. today. Just picked that. He up didn't. Today. He didn't even know. What Just the, picked it up today. Didn't even know what the final list was until he texted me last night and said, "Hey, what's the what's the final <laughs> list? What are we running?" Yeah. So uh, hadn't had, had a game of practice yet today. Great. Yeah. Uh, a skill intensive deck and two good players and yeah. took you both to the top eight. Really, Rain Cloud was just <clears throat> two drop bait, enforcer, good card, you know, to go with the BBPs. It's a solid blocker. It's it's not multi sieve. Yeah. It can stop off some of the early rush. Of course, yeah. you gotta have, gotta have some sort of a turn two play. Okay. Uh, obviously, White Beetle Prime, an amazing card. Should probably max it out on it, but hey. probably. Uh, sure. Well, I was like, hey, we've only got like what the eight already enforcers. Thick, yeah. We're already kind of heavy on Evo's forty-four cards, opinion. like like. Uh, the Arbiter, yep. running three was correct, is that right? Oh, it's a stable. Boy. If you have light, you should be running three. Even if you don't have light, you should probably run three anyways. <laughs> that is good. Uh, speaking of three ofs, how, how do you feel about Regent Sasha? We should have had at least another. Yeah. At least one more. Uh, that card is bananas. And I didn't know how bananas it was until we started playing with it today. Were there times really where good. your opponent was attacking you, you were discarding creature cards to save that last shield? I, mean, or? I, I had uh, multiple matchups today. I had like Fistful of four creatures, Sasha, one shield. Sure. Just save me winning the game. I mean, the, the card wins games on itself. Absolutely. It's actually a last minute addition. We had a bowler fist in here and testing around with it. I'm like, it never works on anything. You have to get on roll court to really get rid of stuff. Let's put it on a Sasha. Why not? Mm -hmm. That'll be good. Should've one one Sasha. Just a second. Yeah. Yeah. Two Mesmerites. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you only have two Mesmer Heist. Yeah. After watching your matches, I just realized you have two Mesmer Heist. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, you, 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 you yeah, rocked. Yeah, I drew, I drew like, 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 like it was my job. That's incredible. Yeah. Now that I think uh, about it. it, it yeah. we, my original list had three, but you know, it is space issues, and once again, not a lot of testing, so, uh, you know, believe it or not, I had it where I did draw the discard against Ryan Bishop, and he had Iron Will Tree, so I got, I kind of got shafted on that, <laughs> but... Um, just a small little discard section for some control elements. Yeah. We'll, cover, we'll cover the spire in just a second. Yeah, I made the decision to drop down to two. One, because the keeper of laws, if they have it out, you're probably not going to mesmerize. And two, the iron will tree starting to run around. Yeah. Two should be plenty. Yeah. Okay. It just was killing me. We should be getting, on. by the time we're getting above three mana, we should start to get a fairly aggressive or just kill when it's play. Yeah. So two is fine. Din Gorger? <laughs> Shield Blast Blocker, really. Sure. Some Evo Bait, really nothing on that one. So. He's crunchy. Yeah. It's all crunchy. good. Uh, what does this guy do? Trox the Merciless? He has to play a lot more than I did today. Yeah. I, I only got to play Trox a couple times. It, it did help in the top eight match. Yeah. yeah. Against us, but Especially in the mirror. It's yeah. like swing in, it's, call something, let's swing in again. It's a good card. Robbie swings in to attack my Trox, calls Trox, so yeah. the attack fizzles well, out. It, it like, started well. off Nature yeah. Dark, and the whole backbone was yeah. you know, roll core Trox, but yeah, we'll get to that here in a minute. If, you, if your opponent has. Like two or more creatures, is it pretty much always correct to yeah, unleash? I, I did that to uh, puppets, right? Puppets, yeah, yeah you do my puppets. Just get the get the two for one or something uh, going on. I think it was, was screwing around in the last round. We just kept playing each other. I think yeah. we somebody knew three turtles. Yes, yeah, it's a uh, turtle. It's a silly card. We'll it's come back to turtle. Uh, Terpit. It's Terpit. Great. Standard Best rule. Removal, you know, really did really game. really well for you in game three. Yes, it did. Yeah. Of top yeah, four. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> sure Semifinals was crazy to watch. 
Sprout. Speaking of that, this, he, this Sprout is all was this just. Guy. This is all this guy. Like, and you, you were not on board with Sprout. I was not on board with Sprout. I'd Sprout usually doesn't work for me. <laughs> I, I, one out of ten games, maybe, and I, I guess it just happened to, in top four to work for me. Wow. Point, so. I didn't really play it where it was clutch the rest of the day. It was okay. clutch in that matchup. So. Well, the way I see it, if you're playing against either another very aggressive deck, or especially against Rush, as we saw in the, the quarterfinals or the the semifinals, you have to have some sort of a turn two play. Oh. Yeah, you have to. Have. And right now it's Rain Cloud and Sprout. And when it was blue, instead of Rain Cloud, it was a Bronze Arm Renegade. Because yeah. you could sort of ramp with that. But it's not a blocker, and it doesn't let you use BBP. Okay. Um, we need something for turn two. There's really no other good turn two options not except really. like an Iron Mold Tree. But we need to make sure we keep up with my nature count. Yeah. And going from two to four makes a huge difference. Violet Puffer? It's kind of the same idea, not really some great drops at that at that point. That was more nature. Ramped us up a little bit. It was a body. I did it maybe once today. I think he had a few more clutch plays than How many times were you using Spore Seed or were you just using it as a vanilla creature? <clears throat> I used it once today. And the re the other time it was vanilla. That's one of the few cards that's that's you can manipulate later on. Okay. Now this this guy's pretty cool. This, this Sun is, Sun uh, Clan is, Tortoise. Are you yeah. I, I actually I was wondering why people were kind of hating on it. It is the nature version of Cyber Scamp. It is just advantage and bait and just everything you want out of a creature. Really. I mean, did you get to play with it against an Underworld Stalker? No, I did no. not. I did not live the dream today. So. Yeah, that is the dream when it just constantly goes back under. Yeah. Card is just fantastic bait. Keeps yeah. you going. Now that, get, that card specifically goes and finds a Sun Clan tortoise. Yeah. Now, Broodmother lets you look at top two and, you know, if they're creatures, you get them. Fantastic. Fantastic. That should have been a 3 -up. Probably a 3 -up. Okay. Playing the, the first, the, what is it, the second round versus uh, Preston. It's like, he, if I get Broodmother or he gets Tritonus first, that's going to be the game. And I'm like, mother. there's only two Broodmothers in here. I bet he's got three Titonus. Yeah. And he's got Finbar's Dreadnought. Where is it? It's nature card draw. Yeah. I mean, you really got to draw creatures, yeah. but still. Yeah. Which yeah. is enjoyable. Got to have it. Uh, basically, the main idea of the deck is roll core. Um, David played some jank, mono kind of nature. Jank. It was, <laughs> it was roll beating core everything deck, prior to Roll chance. core deck. And it, I had just showed up for a draft, and I didn't have any deck or anything like that. So I was like, you know what? This card is solid. So, uh, you know, I just yeah, that's when I sent David that list with quality creatures and good Evo targets and. Roll four is just the the backbone of it all. I mean, it does Sasha's trucks, other roll cores, BBP. Got you a what, body. What I thought was really cool was when you play roll core, you unleash, yep. get a Sun Clan tortoise, and whatever Evo, Evo you need. It's, uh, then you're you're activating. You put them on the bottom, and then you activate this trigger, yep. shuffling what it you is, just did. It is just amazing. It is backbreaking. When you do that. I saw you get Sasha. I saw you get Troxes. Yeah, like if you're if you're having to play the card advantage game, that gives you another creature on board, a tortoise in your hand, and an Evo in your hand, and they got two shields. It's just fantastic. Or if you killed the creature, they got minus one. And we could go on for hours about how good roll four is, but we know. <laughs> yeah, we know. So. Fire puppet. Your other discard? Quality cards really is what we were trying to get. Quality creatures that we could Evo on. You know, was the, the whole idea behind it. That well, tell me what you can Evo on from that. What, what is that Trunks going? Trunks and Sasha. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That seems nutty. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, a, it comes in. It's a plus one all its own. And Unless they have Iron Will Tree know, out. Unless Iron Will Tree, but then it evolves yeah. onto those, and it is just fantastic. It is yeah. just a good card. Full Metal Lemon? One of those same things. It's a value card. You know, it can BBP, ah, just Sasha. Say that, yeah. And roll core all targets uh, on that one. I mean, as it goes to the mana, just a solid, solid all round. Absolutely. Definitely important versus rush that it goes to mana. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they go relentless con flag, you get something out of it. Once you start pushing some. Yeah. Was, was the sword horn a way to put early beef on the board? It goes either Sasha or roll core. Really? Uh, you, get, you get it from roll core. Uh, it also goes into BBP. Yep. Uh, that was the whole idea. It, it I was mean, fine. Under 355, I'm mean, not just going to get much more value than that, really. I mean, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. It, it, when I I've played Mono Red, the, the Swiss it ran over Tormer Gods or whatever that gets called. <laughs> Tormer Gods. Let's, let's Tormer talk about the last two Darkness Nature cards Goop Striker, a three of, not yeah. a two of? No, definitely a three, three of. The Slayer. Is, I mean, it is. Is, every, as everyone on YouTube probably knows from Robbie's game too against Mono Fire. Yeah, it is. You need some sort of answer for the giant creatures. Once again, like a con flag. And it, uh, it, it ramps you. I mean, 
it, it's, it's target, it's trucks, and roll for. I mean, it's just, it's just value. How about this dual day car? Necros, Nightmare Blue. You didn't even have it in the original one. <laughs> I took it, well, I was running with it for a while, and then I took it out, and then I was like almost decking out and testing it. It's like, you know, maybe Necros could go back in, it might be somewhat useful. And it's like, oh, I'm super amazing. It's just fantastic. It's value time. Getting a brood mother is back breaking. Ding, 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 you were saying this was a metagame call? Yeah. Well, I mean, really, you know, we you can kind of push through Panopter. It can handle a lot of the rush on here. Um, and it's just solid kind of all around. I mean, it, it, I wouldn't say you're you're just going to dominate any in every match. You know, there's going to be some matches that are a little easier, some matches a little harder. But all around, I never was like, oh, I'm just getting my chest kicked in because of, you know, what I'm, you know, this deck I'm playing is the worst matchup possible. Um, Things that we were, you know, definitely another Sasha, probably another BBP, maybe an Underworld Stalker or two on there. We, that's, we, just, that's what Braden, Braden yeah. Esteroff was saying. Uh, would you put Wonderworld in this somehow? I would want to. Uh, you know, really, just, it, it's one of those meta calls and preference things on there. Cool. Um, you know, Puffer. Wild, wild Puffer there's, could probably go out. There's a lot of room but, for personal preference in this. There's I mean, some innovation so still to be made. And that's why I made a core, and there's plenty of room to just go forward on this. Okay. Would you keep it at 44? I, mean, I, was, I was even going to say, let's just add it and make it 45, really, because you're, you're thinning, you're digging, you're, you're just... 45 is probably a really good sweet spot on it. I wouldn't go too much more than no, that. No, I think that's about where you want to get the ceiling I mean, You could that. do, like, uh, the Puffer goes to the Broodmother. So Sasha, you had a BBP, yeah. you're at 45. Right at 45, you know. And you still have a good number of the three drops, so it's not like losing by the puffer hurts you. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck tech. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys would add or subtract to this deck. Congratulations to Robbie Stewart on your first place win here at KMC Tyler, Texas. We will see you in Rhode Island. Uh, congrats on your top eight. David Woodard, hopefully it's uh, one of at least one more. Get you that first place, second place. Get you to roll on in as well. That's the plan. Absolutely. For David Woodward and Robbie Stewart, I'm Carl Reddish. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Kaijudo, one, commu one community. <laughs> there we go. Who started that? This is amazing. Was it Heater? Heater. I don't know. Yeah. Heater's awesome. Heater. That's what I do. Pretty sure it's Heater. crazy. Did y'all make it up for everything? That guy's amazing. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Well, really appreciate you watching. If there's any